we're going to transfer our photograph onto our printing block. Before you get started, you need to collect your supplies. You need scissors, a pencil, a piece of tape, your linoleum block, a colored pencil, and a Sharpie. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut out your picture. Now you're going to take your pencil and you're gonna color the back of your picture. It needs to be pretty dark for this to work. This lead on the back of the picture is what's going to help you transfer your image. So it needs to be dark enough or you won't be able to see it. You're going to take your picture and you're going to tape it onto your block. This is so it doesn't move. Now, your picture can still move, but you don't want it to. So try not to have your picture move. Now you're going to take your colored pencil and you're going to outline around the black areas of your picture. You don't need to press so hard that you're tearing through the paper. And you don't need to color in your black areas. You're just outlining them. If you have anything in the background that you don't want, you don't have to outline it. If your tape is covering your picture, you can go right over top of it. and we don't want the picture to be moving. Now, when you're doing the face, you wanna pay really close attention to exactly where the black outline is. All you're doing is tracing, so you can be pretty exact with the details. When you're done, you'll lift up your photo and your image will have been transferred. If your picture is moving too much while you're doing this, this is going to be very gray and smudgy and difficult to see. But if you follow directions, you won't have a problem. What we're going to do next is we're going to take our Sharpie. Because these lines are just transferred lead, they can very easily be smudged and lost. So we're going to go over them in Sharpie before moving on to the next step. You can reference your photo if you're not sure what it's supposed to look like. You can go back and flip your photo up to check it.
After you're done tracing with the black Sharpie, you're gonna mark the black areas so that you know which areas of your picture to carve. I'm just putting a little X where the black areas are so that I know that I'm going to carve those. And again, in the face, you wanna be really careful with details. Once you're done outlining everything in black, you'll be ready to carve. 